Hey everybody, it's Music Minutes. I know what I said. I know we were gonna be talking about chords today. If you see from the title, it is Intervals Week 3. And this is the reason. Today is all about whole and half steps. If intervals are like Lego pieces, then whole and half steps are like atoms. You can remember it by saying, I used to have a friend named Adam and we played Legos together. And Adam, if you're watching this, give me my Legos back. All that to say, they're smaller. If intervals are like Legos, then half steps are like smaller Legos. So if you have, this is a half step going directly above or below the note, like its closest neighbor. But if you skip a note like this from C to D, like we did to get our major second, that is called a whole step because you're skipping one note. This is a whole step. So watch this. To learn any major scale, all you have to do is learn this pattern. I'm gonna give it to you right now. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Watch this. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. If you noticed, if you were watching closely, when it was a whole step, there was a note in between them. If there was no note in between them, it's a half step. You can learn any scale by remembering that pattern. So let's take the note right above. We're gonna go straight to D flat. And if we go whole step, we're skipping D. Whole step, we're skipping E. Half step, we're going directly above. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. We just learned the D flat major scale. And you can do that for every major scale just by learning that whole, whole half pattern. So it's really important to start talking about whole steps and half steps because they're the building blocks of chords. And we're gonna be talking about chords probably in two weeks, but don't hold me to it. I know that some of you guys have been playing for a long time and some of you guys are just starting out. So I really wanna have a nice basic level of music theory training to start from. And we're gonna keep building on from that. So if you already know this stuff, just say, hey, I'll check back when you're doing more complicated things. And as always, if you guys have any questions about any of the things that we're talking about, please leave a comment below. I will go into detail, I promise you, to explain this stuff to you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe below, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, you can check out all the sheet music and MIDI files at pianowithall.com.